Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! So, we're basically in this situation. I don't think we can even leave anymore. Nope. Wait, what? But, but, what happens if Avalanche shows up? They already have. Uh, you, you're shaking. You're so gentle. I think I'm in love. Well, okay then. So, before we really get into things, there's something I want to mention quickly. Uh... Last time... Huh. E well, okay then. Uh, right. Last time, we got the steel materia. And we did stuff with it, like stealing. But we actually missed a good opportunity to steal something really useful. Uh, specifically... An enemy we did not encounter that looks sort of like a guy on a chariot. Uh, you can steal a Weepon for Aerith from that enemy. Which would have been really nice to get because it's actually a pretty good weapon. Um, but anyway. But it didn't happen, so. You know, not the end of the world. Uh, yeah, that, that pretty much sums that up, actually. In the future, I'm going to try to be looking out for those enemies more, but I didn't remember exactly when I would get steel, so I wasn't really prepared for it, and it wasn't really on my radar. Plus also, like I said, we didn't actually end up running into one. Um... Uh Huh. Well then, I think they're all gonna die, to be honest. That's the impression I'm getting. Stelio. No, Cloud, you're not supposed to tank that. Uh, oh, a potion? Man, that is just basically worthless. I mean, not completely worthless, but mostly worthless. Uh, however, I'm still stealing anyway because I want to stagger my attack such that I can get the kills on Tifa. Oh wait, that actually didn't kill him. Well, that's lame. Damn it, Tifa. You have let me down. Oh well. But yeah, so, as I was saying, I'm, in the future I'm going to be watching out more for enemies that have really good steals to point them out. There aren't that many, so it's really not that hard to do. And it, I think it's legitimately an area where I can mention things that a lot of people may not know. Indeedly do. Attacking from a helicopter. Yeah, we should equip ourselves. Uh, okay, so. You, I mean, I don't have a mithril armament for you, but I have a titan bangle, which is still better. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, that does that. Hmm. Let's throw a restore on you as well. Like so. Okay, the reason I'm putting cover on Barrett is because he's on the back row. He takes half... I don't know if it's actually half damage, but he takes... In any case, he takes reduced damage. Which means, if he blocks with someone with cover, he'll take even less than he w would otherwise. Which I think is a really useful thing. Yeah, pretty much, that sums it up. Okay, we good. Maybe I should have healed first, but forget that noise. Hey, it's this asshole. I still don't know whether or not he was the guy outside of the Honeydew Inn. I mean, realistically, probably not, but I do think they bear a certain resemblance. Also, I like how he literally just needed to hit a s single button. 
Well, it's time we fight, Reno. Wait, you're Reno, right? Yeah. It's time we fight, Reno. Uh, of course, that's literally the first thing you do. Uh, nothing to steal. Actually, in checking the stealing thing, very few bosses actually have steals in Final Fantasy VII. Very few bosses have things you can actually steal from them. Which I was a little surprised by. But it's totally the, the case. Almost all the good steals are from random encounters. I mean, really though, I figured you'd at least be able to steal like elixirs or something from bosses, you know? Maybe eithers. Something. But nope. Absolutely nothing. Reno, frankly, I'm disappointed. You needed to be able to deal more damage than this. I'm kicking your ass. And you even have the stupid uh, pyramid trick. You're also focusing disproportionately on Cloud. Like, seriously, this is the third time you've used pyramid on Cloud. Come on, dude. Come on. Uh, let's use this. I mean, I don't even need magic or anything. You are, frankly, being a total pushover, dude. Well, at least he forgot her limit break. Oh. Is it over already? Wow. You really are a disappointment! And you're not any better, Tifa, for letting him run right by you like that. What the hell is wrong with you? He might have been able to stop the damn computer. In what way is it not normal? Uh... Huh... Well, wait, does that mean Reno is a Shinra executive? Are all the Turks executives? <laughs> That's interesting. Damn it, Aerith. Dude. Ah, uh -huh. Wow. Just wow. She was comforting the people who might try to come after and kill you, and then you hit her. Are you trying to get people to tr to kill you? This guy. I mean, admittedly, he does sort of have a point with, uh, that. Although, not only is he under the plate, he's also directly under the debris. So, I'm not sure he thought that all the way through, but, you know, stick around just to taunt me. Um, but anyway. Yeah, uh, Kiva. Yeah, so, hurry up. There we go. One of us on each of his arms. Barrett is really big. I gotta be honest. Take point. That The thing that you just saw was the top of the plate. As I said before, this would kill not only everyone in the slums, but also everyone on top. A full one-eighth of the population of Midgar.
For that matter, it probably wouldn't be so great for those reactors either. Just... I mean, think of how much money that would cost. Like, the economic cost of th that alone would be so prohibitive that it boggles the mind that a corporation would ever undertake it. There's no way Avalanche is costing you more than the repair cost for that. Even if they are blowing up reactors. It doesn't matter how many reactors you have, you have no one to sell them to, you know? For that matter, losing reactors, you can jack up the price that you're charging. Whereas you can't do that if you lose customers. Everyone's dead, Barrett. Everyone's dead. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot it. Shoot, shoot in the wreckage is not going to help, dude. Did she? She did say that, didn't she? I mi I totally misread it. Wait, no. That's not what she should have said. Th I'm not sure if I misread it as I'm alright, or if it actually said I'm alright. But, yeah, anyway. I think I probably just misread it. Although, I wouldn't put it past it if they just screwed up the line. I mean, let's be honest, those three were dead before the pillar came down. Those people were not. So many people and so many paying customers. Yeah, because you know... You definitely, I mean, in this case, the Shinra is primarily at fault, but you need to take, you need to own your own role in what just happened. Um, again, though, blowing up, destroying, like, it doesn't, this is not pro a profitable solution! <laughs> Just... Whoever came up with the idea to, cr to drop the plate like this was fucking incompetent! Oh yeah. Right then. Nope, can't go that way, so... Seriously? Come on! I don't want to fight this thing! It's a pain in the ass! And I already have a second limit break. You know... You know... Wait. I don't think I'm penalized for this. I'm pretty sh Well, yeah, I'm not penalized for this in Final Fantasy VII. This isn't Final Fantasy... V, and even if it was, the Coward Blade is better. Long term. Uh... Okie dokie. Oh. Hmm. 
Interesting. And they'll walk into my body again. So before we go down there, I want to grab this materia. It's the power of sense. Basically, it's scan or detect or Libra, you know, whichever. Whichever game you're playing. We'll give this to Barrett, I guess. No, we won't. We'll give it to Cloud. Okay then. Uh, yeah. Two steps. Come on, man. I'll fight you this time, though. I wonder if they have anything to steal. Absolutely nothing. Hmm. It is worth mentioning, being on the back row, like Barrett is, while good defensively, it will take him longer to get um, limit breaks up, because he's taking less damage. That That is how limit breaks work. After all. I mean, you know, I, I want to show off Cross Slash. Okay, well, that didn't really show it off at all. The angle was completely wrong. Frankly, I'm disappointed. You've disappointed me once again, game! Right. Anywho. Anyway. Any why. We, I think, are going to... Where are we going? I mean, we're going to visit... Actually, wait, I want to go in here. I could have sworn there's a thing with him now. Obviously not. There is a right time to go visit this guy, I know. But I can never remember when it is. Whatever. Uh, I want to go in here. First of all, I actually missed something last time. Turtle Paradise News, number one. Four delicious wine with a nice zing to it. Stop by the Turtle of Paradise. Hey, the kid's fine now. No, I don't want to read that again. I want to talk to the kid. Oh? You bought a mutt something with your five gill. It was a turbo either. That's way better than five gill. And costs so much more than five gill. Actually, I don't think you can even buy those, but I can sell one for a hell of a lot more than five gill. So yeah, you get that item if you don't rob from the kid. So you know, don't take the kid's money, because it's worthwhile. But yeah, this thing, I can sell it for, really? It's only worth one. It's only worth one gill. I mean, that does sort of prove that it's not something you can, in fact, buy, but also it's kind of ridiculous. Look, a regular either is worth 750. I guess that suffices in proving my point. Uh... Let's see, I need to wait until Wall Street before I can buy Barrett new armor. But... Hmm... I can't actually spend this money right now. I don't- I don't have enough- I'm gonna need it for something that's coming up. I don't have enough money. <laughs> yeah... Uh, so, on that note... I- well... Yeah. I think I'm gonna stop up here. Join me next time when we check out Aerith's mom's place, where hopefully we'll find Marlene at, instead of... Well, ho hopefully we'll find Marlene. Until then, this has been Chaos Blue with Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Uh... Yeah. And have a good day. Bye!